Six people have been charged with corruption and bribery following an investigation into alleged criminal activity at Rimataka Prison. They include prison workers, and it's alleged they were bribed with sex and money to take contraband into the prison. William Tariti has a story. For years, Rimutaka Prison has been plagued by corruption allegations. Now, finally, after a lengthy investigation by police, six people have been charged with corruption and bribery. It's incredibly disappointing any time that any, any of our uh, staff are involved in anything like this. They include one current employee, three former staffers, an inmate and a member of the public, most of whom appeared in the Hutt Valley District Court today and whose identities are suppressed. But unfortunately, what we have here is a very, very small group of people who allegedly um, have been bringing items in or doing something you know, that, that has uh, contravened the law. We can reveal a woman named Jacinta Cherry is among those who have been charged for bribing a guard into taking illicit items into the prison by having sex with him. She failed to appear in the court today and now has a warrant out for her arrest. This isn't the first time allegations of this nature have surfaced at the prison. Last year, News Hub revealed a staffer was put on leave after rumours she had a sexual relationship with an inmate. There does need to be a thorough examination into how we manage these things, how we prevent this and what, what measures and uh, resources are put behind this to prevent this happening. Police launched their probe into the prison three years ago, interviewing nearly 200 people, sifting through phone logs and viewing hours of CCTV footage. Well, I was surprised that we're having to deal with um, corruption because um, we sort of pride ourselves on as being a country that really we don't have to deal with corruption, but I am very pleased to see that that has been taken seriously. Though perhaps not seriously enough, given corrections couldn't guarantee it wouldn't happen again. I can't give you an insurance that nothing like this will happen again because we have 10,000 staff, we work with about 9,000 people in prison and about 30,000 people in the community. That's a lot of human interactions every single day. The six people charged in this latest incident are expected to reappear in court early next year. William Toretti, News Hub.